do want to let everyone know we just got word from the hospital that the um, that the male subject who was involved in this uh, has passed away. It's a sad day anytime any resident in our city loses their life. Um, our heart goes out to the, his family who will be grieving. Our hearts also goes out to our officer who was involved in this because he and his family will have to deal with this as well. As with all incidents of this nature, at the request of uh, District Attorney General Jennings Jones, he's requested that the TBI uh, investigate. So they're here on the scene conducting an independent investigation. Our Office of Re Professional Responsibility, or OPR, is in conducting an internal investigation. Uh, they will be reviewing all evidence, any video that's available, to ensure that this is a speedy and thorough investigation. We do want our community to know that we will work as quickly as we can to get to the bottom of what happened. And of course, uh, they can be assured that we will do that as quickly as possible. We do want you to know that investigations of this nature do take time, and we just ask for the patience from the public as well as you, the media, until this investigation concludes. Do want to give a uh, brief update of uh, what actually happened. Uh, do keep in mind this information is preliminary and it's still subject to change. At around 9.13 on Wednesday, November 22nd, our emergency communication center received a 911 call about a armed robbery at an ATM at the Oaks Shopping Center. Uh, if you see here over my right, there is an armored uh, vehicle from Loomis that was here at the time. There was a worker at the ATM. He was approached by a male uh, who attempted to rob him. The uh, armored worker produced a weapon. The man left, went into the Jason's Deli. Uh, when he entered that deli and uh, attempted to rob that business as well, so two attempted robberies. Uh, the employees, I understand there were six employees inside the building. They ran for safety. Once our officers arrived, uh, one of our officers confronted uh, the man, uh, gave him various uh, commands to uh, uh, produce his hands. Uh, he did not. After many commands, repeated commands, um, our officer had to discharge his service weapon, striking uh, the male subject uh, several times. He was taken to the hospital um, and where he, I understand, has passed away. I'm only going to be able to answer a couple of questions considering the TBI has taken over the investigation. Uh, this will probably be our only uh, on-camera briefing considering the investigation is being headed by the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. Was he armed with a knife? At this time, that's part of the investigation in terms of what type of weapon or if he had a weapon at all. That will be uh, part of our internal investigation as well as the investigation uh, conducted by uh, TBI. Did the Loomis security guard try to tackle him or do anything? Again, part of the investigation, we will be looking into anything, uh, any and everything that happened at that time. We have interviewed that particular uh, worker. The TBI is interviewing him as well, so we will get to the bottom in terms of exactly what happened. We don't want to speculate at this time, so you know we deal in facts, and so by interviewing them and uh, getting the facts, we'll be able to share that too with you at a later date, Alexandria. And, and are the workers okay inside of Jason Stelly? I understand some of them might have been younger. Yeah. The workers, each, all six workers got out uh, safely. Uh, I'm sure they are shaking up. Uh, nobody was injured, and that's a good thing. At this particular time, we do have to notify Next to Ken, and so we're not going to be releasing a name until Next to Ken has been notified. But we can tell you it's a 44 year old male. We talked to a witness who said police were kind of here like that. What was the response to the 
Um, I don't have the uh, computer aided dispatch uh, card before me, so uh, that's something I can get for you later. But uh, Murfreesboro Police, we put officers in zones. Yeah, our city is broken out into zones, and so we have a number of officers in each zone. So uh, uh, that's why they were able to get here in such a timely manner. Do you know if the person was from Rutherford County, or did he come in off the interstate? From what I understand, uh, the 44-year-old male is a local Murfreesboro resident. Uh, what's the protocol for the officer that uh, shot the suspect? Uh, in situations like this, uh, he's been placed on routine administrative leave uh, with pay pending the outcome of the investigation. Was he wearing a body-worn camera? All of our officers are issued uh, body-worn cameras. Uh, we have policies and procedures that whenever they arrive at a scene uh, to uh, activate those cameras. And so uh, we will be reviewing any body-worn camera, any additional video from businesses to help us uh, conclude this investigation. So the shooting, since it was inside the Jason's Deli, any idea when these businesses might be able to reopen or what's the timeline on that? At this time, Alexandria, uh, that business is a crime scene. It has to be processed. Uh, our crime scene uh, uh, technicians will be coming to the scene to uh, help uh, process. Again, the TBI is taking over that investigation, so we don't want to speculate in terms of how soon that business will be able to open. Do we know how many bystanders were inside of the at the time of shooting? Uh, that would be part of the investigation. I know our officers are, have talked to uh, the majority of the people who were inside, so I don't want to give a number. Uh, I can tell you there were six uh, employees in the business at the time of this incident. Uh, do want to um, let you know that there's not a day that any of our officers uh, put on their gun and badge and come to work and say, I'm going to shoot someone. That's not how it works. Our officers come to work. They do it with integrity. They do it with courage. Uh, they do it with honor. And so, uh, again, a heart goes out to the family of this man who's deceased. A heart also goes out to uh, our officer who will have to deal with this. So. We really, really appreciate you guys coming. Um, again, the TBI has taken over the investigation, so this will be our one and only on-camera briefing until this uh, investigation concludes.